look, it got better. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Ed, Ed, and Eddie the Miss Adventures. In the last episode, we got through the horrible haunted house, and I totally did that speedrunning tactic that people could do sometimes, and only the pros are able to pull off, because I am an MLG pro, as you all know. In this episode, we are going to do some sequence breaking. Uh, before we do that, though, I should show off. I didn't show you where the other photo booth is that we got unlocked to us. It is right over uh, this away. Right here is where you can watch the second movie. But like I said, it's literally just like a 10 second clip showing you pictures of the Ed voice actors. Just if you want to see what they look like. But the video I linked in the last episode should be a lot more intriguing to you. But whatever, now that's taken care of. In this episode, we are going to do a bit of a sequence break, and this is being recorded after I have beaten the final boss and gotten through the sixth and final scam. Because in that final scam, there is the final costume piece, which opens up the second bonus level. And I thought it would just be a lot more appropriate to do that first, rather than having it be uh, awkwardly after the finale. So, hope you're okay with that. Just know that you can't access this level without first going through scam number six, which is where we get our... A uh, second costume, the Rebel Robot level, but it's the same costume we had. Actually, no, because like Ed's costume was incomplete, wasn't it? Uh, no, because like it's basically the space outfit that we already had, but now we have it again. I don't really understand it, but whatever. Uh, and also, we are going to be getting all the jawbreakers from the gumball machine uh, in this episode. And I just checked it up, checked it up, looked it up, checked it out. You need 807 coins in order to get all the jawbreakers in the gumball machine. So, unless I get magically 200 quarters here in the bonus level, we're going to be doing some off-screen grinding. Hopefully, we won't, hopefully it doesn't come to that. But for now, let's go ahead and start the second bonus level. This was the first one, my bad! Okay, you're going to have to forgive me. I actually don't know where it is off the top of my head because... I went for many, many, many years without unlocking the second level. I've actually only ever played it one time, so it's going to be kind of a blind run to me because it's just very unfamiliar to me, and I haven't done it all that much. And I don't even know where it's located. Is that over there, that arrow? It might be. No, that's that one. Okay. Just got to look for an... Oh, hey, there it is. Yeah, right next to the robot poster, obviously. This is the second bonus level that we are looking for. Mighty Space Outlaws, the time has come to seek freedom! Yes, I can see way in the distance. Look! Well, what are we waiting for? Get me out of here! Do not waylay yourself, Eddie, or I will garnish the lead. Ah! Ed! Ah! Leave Dick and Lumpy! Oh. My. God. I can't believe that just happened. They just had an episode title without the word Ed in it! What kind of sick place is this? Like seriously, how did you forget the pun? Or the wordplay, or whatever you call it. There was no Ed in that episode title, in that title card. How did that get passed? How could you forget that? All right, we need to come up with a new name for this mission because we can't have it. We can't even continue forward without it. So let's see. Let's try and think of a, a name for like alien abduction. Uh, I already know the title. It came from Outer Ed is already used. Um, it doesn't even need to, need to rhyme. It could be like just alien abduction. There, I did it. That's the name of the episode. But seriously, how could they forget that? Okay, whatever. Uh, these are not the spacesuits that you get from an Easter egg. As you can see, I have it turned off in the menu, but we still have them wearing, we're still wearing them. So I don't understand why that's a separate costume and whatnot, I don't know. I kind of would prefer if it was like, maybe the Urban Ranger outfits or something like that. Just uh, something a bit different, but whatever. Uh, the first bonus mission had us playing as just Ed, and this one has us playing as Eddie and Double D. Unfortunately, I don't get their own separate bonus missions, but whatever. But what is really cool is that their weapons actually get changed around a bit. Eddie! Oh, it doesn't? I thought it did. 
The stink bomb. Oh yeah, the stink bomb gets changed. He has a stinking explosive bomb of death, and Double D has a stinking lightsaber. Double D is Darth Stinking Vader. He's the guy with the red sword, right? I'm sure you can get a lot of people yelling at me, be like, "Is this sword a lightsaber?" And eh, whatever. I still haven't seen Star Wars, and I probably never will. Uh, the slingshot. The slingshot has changed into a stinking gun, which is insane. Yeah. So all of our weapons get changed around, which is really stinking cool. So, the fact that like I went so long without playing this level, when I finally got to it, it was so stinking weird. Like, I felt like I was playing super awesome DLC, because like, we got stinking lightsabers and like explosives and all that jazz. And we're finding all these robots, like, actual threatening enemies instead of just neighborhood squirrels and whatnot. It's really stinking crazy. So, we cannot use any of our, uh, Ed transformations, unfortunately, because we do not have Ed with us. So, we can't use any of our special moves. Uh, yeah, we can't even do that. So, we are gonna have to look elsewhere. There are three jawbreakers here, no costume pieces, obviously, and no Easter eggs. So, we just need to find three jawbreakers in this area, and I'm not entirely sure where they are because I haven't played this level all that much. I've only ever done it one time. But, yeah, let's see if we can just make our way through the. I know it's like sort of a reskin, like I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the dog. I don't know what the giant robot's supposed to be, but whatever. Maybe it's not a reskin, maybe it's, it's actually its own enemy. Uh, just keep on going through here. Uh, Eddie, keep on using your trick wallet, I guess. That's the ultimate power. I like how they don't power that up. You change it to something else. I don't know what you change it to, like a UFO on a stream? A stream? Uh, but yeah, I think there's supposed to be a jawbreaker. Yeah, right here, cool. Okay, we got one of them. The second and third one uh, should be a bit further in. Uh, I don't remember how long this mission is, but whatever, we'll just keep making our way through. It's just really stinking intense and creepy and just unfitting for the show, but like that's sort of what I enjoy about the unsettling nature to it. Of course, it's all just ma make believe. It's like referencing the episode where they go to the junkyard. That stinking van, man. I just didn't want that van. We all wanted that van back in the day. I just wish that was implemented more like that was a constant hideout spot where they usually would just go to hang out. But no, nah, they're always out on the move. I think there's a second jog breaker in there. So we'll just remember that for later. Uh, but yeah, the it came from Outer Ed episode. That one was really stinking unique because it was actually this big crossover thing that... It was sort of like a Jimmy and Timmy Power Hour, but like none of the shows actually interacted with one another. There was like an alien abduction week on Cartoon Network where like aliens were invading all these different Cartoon Network shows and there was like an overarching plot with the aliens, but not with the shows themselves. Like there were aliens that were like invading the earth trying to steal dairy products or something like that. So uh, the shows that were involved were uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Ed and Nettie, Camp Laszlo, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, and uh, Billy and Mandy. Uh, the first one was Foster's in the lineup, and it was that uh, they thought that Cheese was an alien instead of an imaginary friend. Of course, we all know Cheese. He was, like, stinking the most iconic character from that show. Uh, can we destroy this thing? Uh, yes, we can. Uh, but yeah, they all thought Cheese was an alien for some reason instead of uh, an imaginary friend, and they got all suspicious, but then it turned out that they were just crazy. But, like, right at the end, you saw, like, a UFO thing, and it was just, like, hinting that there were aliens in the show. And then next week it went to Ed and Nettie. Jimmy had a nightmare that aliens existed and abducted the place. And then it turns out that there was an alien abduction at the cul-de-sac, but it was just Rolf's ancestors being weird and whatnot. But then like it ended off with the entire cul-de-sac being taken away uh, to into outer space. So I don't really know how that works, but it was probably just not canon or whatever. Uh, that one didn't really involve cheese all that much though, from what I remember. Uh, the third one was Camp. Uh, no, it wasn't Camp Lazo. Up next was the. Um, was if Jim Parker's a monkey. Uh, that one was a new foreign exchange student. It was a platypus who joined the school and he was voiced by Guilford Godfrey because of course he was. Um, they thought he was an alien because it was like a beaver duck. They never knew uh, know what to make of that sort of thing. Uh, but then I don't. I think it actually he actually was an alien. That was the secret that the twist he was an alien. Like something involved cheese. And like the Camp Plaza one, I have no recollection of what that one's about. And then it ended off with Billy and Mandy involving some sort of cheese products or milk products or something like that. And I know it was just a cool little series of episodes. How like they were all somewhat loosely connected. It was leading up to this uh, finale of this overarching plot. It was just really cool. I just remember it was really cool. And another thing that was really cool back in the day um, is it's because of Ed and Eddie that I, like or uh, Cartoon Network that I uh, came to discover National Cheese Day. 
I forget what it was called, but like that Friday event where like those two dudes, the guy and the girl were like, have their little event on Friday and like they would show just like a bunch of new episodes of Cartoon Network shows or whatever. And there was an event there where they had National Cheese Day and that's where I discovered National Cheese Day, like the exact day of the holiday. And I celebrate every year now, of course, because I love cheese, as you all know. And they had like a bunch of cheese themed episodes and whatnot of a bunch of different shows and everything like Kids Next Door and Billy and Mandy Ed and Eddie. Oh my god, I stinking love cheese. I remember I made like a big stinking cheese crown that I wore to school one day and it was stinking amazing. Oh, I love cheese so stinking much. I only just recently got a hold of one of the Wisconsin cheese head things, which is really, really cool. Um, I've wanted one for so long. I actually found one in the prop closet in uh, at my college. And I, was, I asked the teacher, I was like, hey, can I steal this? And she was like, okay. It was really stinking funny. I love that thing so much. Uh, but what are we supposed to do here? Uh, that place is still blocked off. Nothing else out here. I don't even know what that did exactly. Uh, maybe we shoot the robot from a distance? I don't know if it has the same physics as the other thing, as the slingshot water balloons, but it doesn't seem to be working. Can't get any of these things to work. Uh, let's try Eddie. Use that. Uh, maybe get closer? Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Hmm. In here, there was nothing, right? Oh, nope, there was another one. There's another one, as Sandy would say. Intriguing. Intriguing. I would love to have, like, a Nickelodeon Cartoon Network crossover. That would be amazing, but we can't have nice things, so it's probably not going to happen. Uh, let's go up here, destroy this, and this, and this. Uh, I'm just gonna stop the machine from making more robots, and you're just gyrating like crazy. Go and do that. Intriguing. Intriguing! Do that. Uh, I guess we could break this. I think there's another jawbreaker in this base somewhere. I know they said it was in some sort of base. Is it this base or some other base? Where's the bay? Show me all the bays. Uh, we'll hit this thing all around the way. Very, very intriguing. Go and destroy him. Okay. And this music is always creepy. I was like, that means. like Jimmy's, like, just shrieking. It's like, Jimmy, Uh, I think that's it for this area. Uh, but we need another intriguing thing for Double D to break or mess with. Hmm. Where could that be, I wonder? Did we hit this one already? Okay. This should work. And it did work. Cool. Head over here. And we got another one behind here. Ouch. Get rid of this dude, I think we gotta hit it again because we got rudely interrupted by this robot doggy. Oh, that's just sad. Get rid of it, that'd be nice. You can walk with the, with this one, that's cool. So you can get rid of this guy, very good. Uh, the electric fence is back up, hopefully the jawbreaker wasn't in there. Or that could just deactivate, okay, cool. Not really sure why that is, but whatever. Uh, we'll hit this, and this, and this, just get rid of all the enemies. Hit this robot in the booty. There's not a whole lot of coins here. I guess there's no currency in the future, or in space. I guess we're not in the future, we're just in space. We can use space currency, but it probably won't work for us. Hit this thing, please, thank you. Uh, we didn't get rid of the- th oh, yeah. Break the machine, god darn it. Good. Um, let's see, this thing is opened up, let's go and attack him in the face. Punchy, punchy, punchy. I'm using double D a lot in this area, but whatever. Uh, that guy's just up there. I guess we could shoot him from down here if we wanted to. That doesn't seem to do anything for us though, it's just a nuisance. I just want to know where the jawbreaker is. Yeah, I guess we also have to save Ed and whatnot, but yeah, the Jawbreakers, the, it's not just a Jawbreaker, it's a Space Jawbreaker. Has anyone ever actually had Jawbreakers? I remember I got it once, it's because, like, of course you're going to want to try a Jawbreaker after watching this show for so long, and I don't remember this. There's a bunch of Jimmys and stinking containment cylinders. 
That's really creepy. Why is it just Jimmy? Oh my god. They could have had like all the neighborhood kids, but they just had a bunch of Jimmys. Sure, why not? Now we really gotta destroy this place because I don't want a bunch of Jimmy clones coming after me and just screaming simultaneously. Uh, oh, this looks familiar. There's like a bunch of uh, walls and mazes. There's gonna be a jawbreaker hidden in here, no doubt about it. Let's just keep on hitting this thing, please. Oh jeez, create another one. Let's do this. I know I was talking about something, but I don't remember now. How wonderful. There's the jawbreaker! Okay, at least I know where it is. And the third one, I also vaguely know where it is. Uh, let's see. How do I get up there? Jump. And jump. Or fail at jumping. Jump. There we go. Don't even need a trample head. Oh, there we go. Only one more jawbreaker to go, and the rest are gotten through the gumball machine of doom, I guess. Got that. Oh, yeah. I was, I was asking if anyone's ever had a jawbreaker. I got one once just because I wanted to see what it tasted like. And, like, of course, you can't actually fit that giant stinging thing in your mouth. It's not even that big to begin with. And, like, it was okay, I guess. It was just like a gumball that you couldn't chew. So it was just taste, a big taste in your mouth that became all sore and whatnot because it was just so big and a nuisance and whatnot. It was really stinking weird. But whatever. Jump up here and... Uh, I guess we could try and shoot it from here. Uh, we want to hit this thing. This should work that and we could make it through here I haven't been using Eddie as much let's go over to him throw that bombs away and just go ahead and use the trick wall he's a lot quicker that's for sure uh what else is there go over here there is more corridors and gotta destroy these things I have to but I have a thirst for robotic blood so oil I guess Okay, and I guess we're also not in, well, I don't know, maybe space robots? I don't know what kind of fantasy world they're in right now, but we're just trying to make our way through. Uh, hit this as well. Is that just... God darn it, you're a jerk. You're a jerk! Go over here. Okay. Jump, jump. I said jump, jump, jump. I said jump, jump, jump! Okay, we can't go over there yet. Fine. Uh, this looks ominous. Oh, there's Ed! He's trapped in that little vortex thing. Okay, we will try and save you, buddy. Let's go and break all these things, please. Hurry up and get rid of them, okay. I think you actually need, uh, do need to get rid of everything in order to uh, break Ed free. We really can't make that jump? Okay, there you go. There's the ticket. I'll break that. We will go over here. Oh, you're already destroyed somehow, sure, whatever. Uh, he's just laughing. Okay, at least he's having a good time. Uh, Eddie's gone missing somehow. That's unfortunate. Can't switch over to him. But Double D seems to be taking uh, care of things on his own, so that's fine. Uh, hopefully we don't need Eddie for anything. We really can't do anything with the Eds all on their own or without uh, the whole three of them. We just had a whole bunch of intriguing moments. Uh, I hope you get hurt by the uh, space juice as well. Where the heck did Eddie go? Eddie's up there, sure. Uh, Eddie, get down here, please. And W is like booking it, trying to get back over to him. Uh, but now we gotta go ahead and free Lumpy. Let's see if we can get over to him. Uh, over here we got another robot. Gee, I wonder what we should do. And if we could get rid of the machine, thank you. Let's keep on using that trick wallet, the ultimate weapon. And let's set Ed free. Intriguing. <laughs> Are you okay, Ed? Oh, you stopped it. I want to go again! Enough of that, guys! We still need to find the space rocket so we can get out of here! <laughs> okay, Eddie. Down, up, down, down. <laughs> okay, now that Ed's with us, what his what is his space ability? Still just hitting things with his head. Yeah, he doesn't have any actual space powers, unfortunately. But, would you have it any other way? I mean, kinda, but whatever. Uh, now what do we do to get out of here? Uh, where do they want us to go exactly? Wasn't really able to listen because the volume's turned down. Uh, someone was shooting at us before. We don't see from where. Oh, it's from here. Uh, let's have Double D take this guy out, just because he's a jerk. There we go. Is that it? 
Uh, I think if we try and make our way out, then we're gonna get attacked or something. Do we really just, go, like, go backwards? I wonder. I really wish I was able to hear what they were saying, but, like, it looks like a dead end. Maybe it's just, like, Scam 3 again, where we just backtrack back to the beginning. Oh, wait, no, there's a hidden thing over, over here. Okay, good thing I didn't go all the way back. That would've been horrible. So we'll just use Ed a bit for this area, because he hasn't had some time in the sun. Or on the moon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, go ahead and attack these guys. Hurry up. I remember that episode was just so weird, it was just to think about a place that they could go besides the cul-de-sac, like a movie theater, it was just, that was such a foreign concept to me. I remember back in the old days where you had to look in the newspaper to see when movie times were showing? Oh boy, things were so weird back then, so weird, just like, whatever. Technology's amazing, basically. Got that taken care of, but over here we got... Oh, uh, we got this thing. I don't really know if we need to destroy it, but destroying stuff is fun, so we're gonna do it anyway. There's another intriguing device up there for us to get rid of. Let's see if we can get rid of you real quick. Uh, the final jawbreaker is still a ways away, so don't worry about missing it. Ouchies. Get rid of him. Uh, I think we need to use Trample Ed, so let's go and do that. And you're on your own, Double D. Okay, back together again, guys, guys, okay, cool. Uh, Ed, let's make things a bit quicker, why don't we? Uh, this is, okay, another intriguing, I didn't overlook it. Intriguing! Uh, let's see, what else is there? Keep going, I guess. All these things are here, I kind of wish all the Eds could attack all at once and then just stand around, but I guess that would make things a little too easy or something like that, I don't know. Uh, and I assume like a multiplayer would be like very poorly controlled or whatnot, but oh well. I just like that we get to play as all of them in general. If we only got to play as one of them, that'd be really lame. Uh, let's go hit that. Ugh. This area's just making me really wish that the Cold Lyoko video game was actually good. Maybe I just need to give it more of a chance and just not play as Ulrich, and then maybe I'll actually have a fun time, who knows. Uh, I know there's like a program somebody made where like, they made Jeremy's computer online, you could just like, uh, control everything that he could in the show and stuff like that. I really wanted to check that out because that's really cool. Uh, maybe I'm just nomadic. I'll convince them to do it because programs confuse me and scare me. Let's go and do that. Get them corns. No, that's not a corn. It's blue corn. Space corn. Space gumball. Uh, hit that. We got all these enemies. Jeez, so many sinking enemies. I just want to get out of here. Uh, run into the thing. Eddie's head is up our butt in space, how wonderful. My, my. Intriguing. Oh, I knew it, I think I knew it. Okay, fine. Uh, where are you shooting from? Get you. And get you. Are you gone? Okay, cool. My, now intriguing. My. Intriguing. Okay, what that do? Um, I assume it opened the path for us. None of you guys have stinking jawbreakers or money, so I'm just gonna like... Try to get out of here without fighting you, but you're gonna be a jerk about it. Okay, cool, we don't have to die yet. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, we'll go ahead. Get rid of these guys while they're not looking. Just run right through all of them, I guess. Maybe we turned it back on again, I don't know. Let's try one more time. Intriguing. Uh, head over here. Is it turned off now? Yeah, okay, even though we got interrupted, we still turned it off initially, but then we turned it back on. Whoopsie doopsie. Just want to attack these guys so we get a bit more HP, if we could. Ouchies. Ouchies! Oh, an Action League Now video game would be so stinking dope. I would love that so much. It's never going to happen, but my god, I want that so badly. Uh, let's go hit that. Thank you. Right last second. I think that's just to get back out of here, but whatever, we don't want to do that. And over here, there's so many stinking aliens and robots and robots and aliens. Uh, nothing over here, just a big ol' enemy gauntlet. Okay, we just skip right through all of them. I'm too young and handsome to die! 
sacrifice myself while the two of you make your escape. Just think of me whenever you eat pudding skin. I don't think that will be necessary, Ed. These laser turrets are much more effective. Okay, we got another boss fight here. whoop de doo And this is also where the final jawbreaker is located somewhere in this big heaping mess. Uh, let's see if we can locate it, and we're very low on HP. Uh, let's see, I just want to see where it is before we get things started. If I can. Uh, maybe it's going to be become available to us as we move along. I think it's over here. Let's try Trample Ed. And wait, we might not even need Trample Ed. Uh, jump on this, and ouch. Even in space, we could hear Kevin call us a loser. Uh, let's go back over there. There was a little footstool. Uh, jump on this, and this, or not, and this, come on, get up there, come on, Ed, you can do it. Okay, and up here is the final jawbreaker that I have to collect, but we still need to show off the ones that I got in Scam 6, but whatever. Okay, we can rest easy now. We need to destroy all of these stinking turrets in order to progress through the story, or finish off the Scam chapter thingy. Uh, we are going to whip out this. Hit this from from afar. Okay, very good. Uh, can we go through the cracks? Yes, we can. Thankfully, the hitbox on these uh, little platforms isn't so big. Uh, now this one. Let's see if we get rid of this one. Very good. Can we hit the robot from here? We can. Um, this is anticlimactic. Is that really how we're gonna finish the boss? Okay. This is incredibly sad if this is how we finish the sinking boss fight. We're just gonna keep on going. Okay, he has like a big invincibility, in invincibility frame, but we just keep on doing this. I'm a good game player. This is a very underwhelming end to the LP. Well, not, well, that's why I didn't want to have this be the final thing, because this would be a very lame final boss for us to fight. And you notice he was wearing a cowboy hat? I guess you could call him a space cowboy! And on that note, see ya, space cowboy. We've completed Rebel Robot Ranch. Current game completion, 92%. Nothing, my lovable baby sister. It's time for dinner. Mom said, get moving! Killjoy! And that's about it. Okay. Now, Scam 6 also has another movie theater thing in it. I won't be able to show it off because the LP is going to end uh, after we finish that scam, so I'll just go ahead and show that to you right now. It is all the way over here. Uh, the movie you get for the final easter egg it is a commercial for this video game. Fascinating. Go all the way in here. It is this way? Uh, it's somewhere deep in the depths of this place. Right here, yeah, this is the final uh, ticket booth or photo booth, whatever you want to call it. And this is where you can watch a commercial for this game if you want to. Do you want to? Not really, but I'll have it linked in the description anyway because I'm sure I'll get copyright stricken if I show it to you normally. Okay, I went ahead and watched it real quick just because I wanted to uh, take a trip down memory lane, and that uh, commercial has a couple little interesting things to it. First off, it says at the end that this title is not yet rated, even though in the bottom right corner it says rated E for everyone. And then there are also some beta element things that you could see in there. First off, you saw that the coins in the game were bronze instead of silver, so they outright were pennies that we were collecting, so I guess that made it a bit more sense. Uh, a bit more sense, get it? Alright, but the other thing that was noteworthy is that Double D's slingshot had a bit of a different design. It was brown with, like, uh, metal clasps on it, so like a much more sturdy looking slingshot, but in this game, it is, like, made from a tree branch with rubber bands tied around it. So it's a bit more, uh, janky looking. That's about the only thing I saw in there, though. That was noteworthy. But yes, we need to go ahead and do some off-screen training, unfortunately, if you want to call it off-screen training. We have 602 quarters or coins or whatever, and we need 807 in order to buy every single jawbreaker in the game. 
Oh boy. I'm just gonna go through scam six as many times as they need me to, hopefully just once. And I will meet you guys back here when we have enough money to buy all the jawbreakers. I'll see you all in just a moment. Okay, we are back with exactly 807 coins. So I realize that the gold coin gives you 25 coins specifically, so I assume the gold coin is a quarter and the silver ones are pennies. So they had it right in the beta version, but changed it for whatever reason. Okay, and thankfully I only had to go through uh, scam number six one time. I didn't even have to go through the entire thing, which was really cool. So scam six is where all the money's hidden. Now that it's finally taken care of, we could head over to the gumball machine and get our reward. This is gonna take a while, unfortunately, but it'll be worth it. We're starting off with one cent. We've got Italian. We always get a vintage jawbreaker. Now it's up to two cents. Uh, German. Four cents we got ourselves. Scottish. Eight cents gets you. French. Twelve cents gets you. English. 18 cents gets you. My, my. Latin. Intriguing. For 26 cents. Hmm, uh, it's not just straight up doubling anymore. Whatever. We got Greek. When it was 36. Oh, now it's 36. Work. Swedish. 48 my, cents we got. A Slovak. From my, a really great my. episode. Intriguing. A Canadian. Hmm, They're weird. Work. 78 gets you. Australian. My, Reverse 69 gets you a Guatemalan, a 116 gets you Antarctic, and 138 gets you Mexico. Oh, we got one more, 162, that gets you Japanese, the grand finale, I think. You have all the vintage jawbreakers, yep, we are done. And with that, you can check our pause menu, and over at the, oh, it was right on the first one, okay. The Jawbreaker screen, we have all the Jawbreakers. The one in, the ones in blue are the ones, the one of those little squares, the ones that we got from the Jawbreaker machine. The other ones are gotten through the levels. And they all have their own uh, special uh, thing in Mahoozie, they all, they all have a, Description, Jesus. Blueberry, normal. Nothing stains your teeth better. Uh, black licorice, normal. Whip it good. Peppermint, normal. Hang it on your Christmas tree. Red hot. Hey, it's... Hey, is Naz wearing a bikini? T Tutti Fruity. A wombada blue bop a la bamboo. Oh, okay, they're trying to do the Br Brave Little Toaster song. A wop bop a doo wop wop bop boo Tutti Fruity! Alright, okay. A uh, bubble gum. Choo choo. Root beer, brewed in oak barrels in accordance to 17th century standards. Everlasting, is there no better kind? Can they, uh, candied beets, calms the nerves. That's a normal one. Anchovy paste, a fine year. Jimmy's fudge, for sharing with Sarah. Canyon, ta or cran taco, tastes better with hot sauce. Chunky puffs, spoon please! Gingerbread sailor, that actually sounds really good. Succulent delights of shore leave. Sea cucumber, the great nano would have, the great nano of rolls, uh, the great suca, sea cucumber, the great nano would approve. Uh, canker ketchup, a compliment to any meal. Peaches and cream, no better way to pack those pounds. Pudding skin, chewy shell with burnt milk center, ew. Uh, butter toast, a, ew, a butter toast jawbreaker, I wonder if that'd actually be good. Slippery on the tongue, crumbly in the middle, probably not. Gravy! Yum! Curry surprise, filled with a delicious ball of curry, ew. Queen's choice, fish and chips filled center, ew. Australian adventure, crunchy bite-sized parrot droppings, what the fruit? Cantonese paradise, chewy so seaweed and ton surprise. Freeze me, imported from Greenland's glaciers. Ital and then we got the vintage ones from the uh, gumball machine. Italian, pass the pesto please! A uh, German tastes like sauerkraut. Scottish, uh, but I can't play. The, but I can't play the bagpipes, honey. French, uh, would you care for a baguette? English, better than cheese rolling. What? Latin, uh, let's mambo. Let's mambo. Greek, my brother's a whiz at bazooki playing. 
a uh, Swedish. Rolf has seen this meatball. It stalks Wilfred in the dead of night. Slovak. I sent away for it in a comic book. Uh, Canadian. Canadians are weird. It's not so weird. It's just Canadians are weird. Come on, game. Australian. Tastes like the Outback. What? Uh, Guatemalan. Oink, oink, oink. I am a lizard. <laughs> Antarctic. Tastes like penguin. Mexico. I want to be a pinata. Japanese. Tastes like sushi. And that's it. Those are all of the jawbreakers. We now have 100% completion in Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Misadventures. Uh, but I still have to show off the final level where you could get those last bit of collectibles. So, I guess that's what we're going to be doing. Next time on Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Misadventures, the finale. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Hello? Thank you, Jesus. Next time on Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Misadventures, the finale. We are going to protect our glorious treasure with our lives. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Uh, real quick before we end things off, I just wanted to show the cheat section that I never actually showed you. I think you unlock this after you beat the game, either that or after you 100% it. You can unlock unlimited stealth, which I guess that means you don't get seen by enemies, so you could attack them more easily. Um, unlimited damage, either that means you could do unlimited damage and you beat enemies in one hit, or it means you have unlimited health, so you could just take damage over and over without dying. And then fast run, which, gee, I wonder. The fact that it's called cheats makes me feel like it's gonna break the game if I do it, but let's see. It's definitely faster. Whoopee! You just run super stinking quickly, which is really cool. And the other stuff is better shown off in actual demonstration. But this is the funnest one, I guess. Alright, that's about it. See you in the finale!